that I want to to bring up that I think is super, super critical is around uh, the discussion of Office 365 groups. If you do not know what I'm talking about, this is the sprawl that happens when a user creates a team or a SharePoint site or sometimes a planner. And if you haven't been working with us to get that under control um, and have some proper information architecture around that, you need to, period. Uh, this is kind of the Achilles heel of moving to Office 365, and it's one of the major things that so many companies overlook, and it becomes a major pain, for, pain point for them. Now, around that, we have some updates, and around these 365 groups, we now have the ability to do sensitivity labeling, where we actually can apply unique policies around 365 groups. We can make them highly confidential or tie them to groups. And that not just classifies the 365 group, but it also allows and disallows certain functionality. So that capability is coming. It's really, and if you wanted to Google a term, the term you should be Googling is information protection and governance around 365 groups. That will give you more information around these sensitivity labels. Also, when now when we provision 365 groups, you get a forms work group that is auto provisioned as part of this process. Flow or Power Automate also has a workspace that's tied to a 365 group. And then another update is when you provision a team by default through the team's application, that team no longer will show up in your address list in your organization. This is a major change by Microsoft. Some people will like that, some people will not like that. So just keep in mind that auto provisioning of 365 groups within teams will not be showing in the gal. And then lastly, as a call to action, um, 365 group provisioning and the management around this is complex. There are actually 20 different ways to create a 365 group. I'd say probably half of them, the user would have no idea that they're actually doing that. Uh, and there's not a single place within the 365 ecosystem that allows you to provision a group with all the settings in one place. Thus, the reason for Journey Team that we are in the process of building a group provisioning and management tool. If that is something that's on your radar that you feel would benefit your organization, please uh, make a comment or reach out to us and, and we can provide a demo.